So yep, uh, I'm, I'm Paul, I'm from CircleCI. Um, we're, we're about uh, three years old at this point. We're 23 people now. Uh, largely an engineering company. Uh, very, very focused on engineers and, and obviously our customers are engineers. So we, we spend a lot of time thinking about this and, and thinking about uh, how, to, how to build the right products for them. And I'm gonna talk a little bit uh, about how to reach those and, and what our you know, sort of go to market and how it relates to all the rest of you. Um, so CircleCI uh, is, is about continuous integration and is about continuous delivery. So at, at the core of, of what we do is, is testing, but really we're, we're about uh, developer workflow automation. So uh, continuous integration, continuous delivery, obviously about shipping code to, to customers, uh, our customers shipping code to their customers uh, as, as quickly as possible in an automated, repeatable fashion. Um, and that, 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 that's kind of what we do. And this is, this is what it looks like in practice. Um, the uh, developers write their code. As soon as they write their code, it gets shipped to, to GitHub, and GitHub ships it to us. That's our logo right in the middle there. Uh, and then presuming that everything works well, uh, it, it gets shipped to their customers out in the cloud. And you know, very automated process, uh, everything uh, very, uh, very repeatable, uh, very reliable, very safe, and very cheap to, to ship code repeatedly to customers. So I'm really going to talk about what, what we've been up to, what we've been launching recently. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about go to market and interesting things there. So uh, recently launched support for AWS code deploy. Uh, Amazon uh, launched this at reInvents last week and we were one of the launch partners. Uh, code deploy is, is, a, is a new and interesting way of, of deploying to, um, to AWS. Um, and uh, we link there if you're, if you're interested in, uh, in how that works. Uh, one of the other things that we've launched in, in the last few months is integration with Rainforest. Rainforest is, a, is another uh, heavy bit company, obviously, that does uh, automated QA uh, in, in the cloud. And we've uh, we put together a way for Rainforest to, to work uh, with us where uh, you, do, you do your testing on all of your branches uh, with CircleCI and it integrates with, uh, with Rainforest very easily. And as soon as, as, soon as Rainforest uh, deems your tests okay, in addition to the tests that run on CircleCI, uh, it, it all pushes off into the cloud and, and the same sort of uh, continuous delivery happens. Uh, same thing with, with Sauce Labs. Sauce Labs is a provider of browsers. Uh, hundreds and thousands of browsers on, on all kinds of Windows and Safari and, and iOS devices. Um, and you can run your tests. Again, Circle CI, same sort of thing. Uh, the, the tests are running on, on Circle's infrastructure in the cloud uh, and integrates with, uh, with Sauce Labs. Now the, the next one, uh, those were kind of simple integrations. The next integration I think is, is very, very interesting. Uh, Docker, uh, you might have heard of it. It's uh, the, 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 this new way of, of doing uh, deployment and containerization and LXC and all that, all that beautiful thing uh, in, in the cloud. And CircleCI is, uh, has, has built in integration for Docker. So if you set up, um, you have a, a Docker file in your uh, in your repo, CircleCI will automatically uh, know how to, you know, ha has all the Docker stuff set up so, so you can build your Docker container, run your tests within your Docker container, um, has all the, um, the setup, you know, databases and all that sort of thing so, so that you can run your normal tests inside the Docker container connecting to, you know, your Postgres or, or Mongo or whatever it is you have uh, outside the container. And then, of course, continuous delivery to um, this is a uh, Google Compute Engine to, to Amazon Beanstalk or to Docker Hub or, or whatever else you have there. So uh, Docker, probably the future. Um, the you know, very important things are like dev production parity, which is, which is something that you now get. Uh, you have the same environments on your, on your dev environment and your test environment uh, and in your production environment, so you can really be sure that, that, things, um, that things continue to work. And then, of course, Circle provides continuous delivery of those Docker images for you. Now, obviously, the, all those things work together. Um, you, 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 can take your, uh, you can take your Docker repo, make sure, that, uh, make sure that it works by running your tests on, on Circle, but also connect that, that Docker container to Rainforest or to Sauce or, or to a handful of our other integrations and, uh, and then push them out to the cloud. Uh, Docker is something that we launched about, uh, about two months ago, um, and that was that's very interesting. Lots of, lots of cool companies are using Docker. Uh, this is something that we're going to be launching next week. Uh, or maybe it's in two weeks' time. Uh, we have this in beta at the moment. Uh, so testing on iOS. It used to be that, that no one tested on, on iOS, and, and, and people who wrote iOS apps just didn't test. They, they would test their back end on, on CircleCI, um, 
and the you know all, all these web apps and services and all that sort of thing and the presentation layer uh, their, their app themselves just wouldn't be tested people wouldn't write tests and over the last year year and a half there's been a gradual trend to actually test these things um, and uh, we're we're offering support uh, for this now uh, running a, running a Mac cloud of our own and, and uh, the in in I don't know if how many of you are, are Circle CI users, but the typical way that, that we do things in Circle is we automatically figure out how your tests run and give you nice, reliable builds in a nice, easy way. The, 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 this is one of the things that's really, really awkward uh, on, uh, on iOS. It's, it's, uh, or when you're building with Xcode, that there's a cert on one developer's machine, and uh, the, the repeatable process just is very, very difficult. Um, and this is one of the many reasons that people don't really do continuous delivery on um, uh, on iOS, and so we, we make that very, very simple and automated and repeatable uh, and very easy configuration and nice, uh, uh, elegant experience uh, that, that most iOS people or most iOS developers are not really used to, so we're, we're pretty excited about that. So that's the kind of uh, continuous delivery side of things. Uh, some of the uh, interesting things that we're doing around CI, uh, we're, uh, we have made uh, uh, CI free for Circle CI free for OSS projects. So if you're an OSS project, as of about a month ago, um, we'll we'll provide you with lots of free computing resources to to do CI, um, and we'll we'll provide enough resources that you can do things like parallelization and um, and uh, you know, the similar sort of things that that uh, that are Circle's value adds. And then the uh, thing that we're announcing tomorrow morning uh, is uh, is that we're going completely free. So any project, um, uh, side projects, small projects, small startups, small teams, all that can use Circle uh, completely for free. Uh, large teams could as well, but you wouldn't get a great experience. Uh, so that's where the, the monetization comes in. Um, but they could, in theory, and, and people do uh, in practice, uh, use Circle CI with large teams uh, for, for the very, very small plan. And the very, very small plan is, is now going to be free. Um, so we're, we're very excited about that. If you have side projects, uh, if you have things that you're working on this, uh, that, that you know, somehow aren't, aren't monetized or don't have revenue behind them, uh, you can now set up uh, Circle CI for free, get the benefits of continuous integration, continuous delivery on everything you do. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. GitHub Enterprise, they just launched a new enterprise. We've got support for that coming soon. And of course, it works with, with everything else. Um, so again, very excited about all of these. Um, so what? what Talking about what, what we're what we're thinking about um, and what what other heavy bits uh, companies uh, I think would, would find interesting to chat to us about um, and it, it, it all comes uh, with this phrase dev facing bottom up enterprise go to market strategy uh, a phrase which rolls off the tongue after you've said it about seventeen thousand times um, so most of you are, are going to be you know, have a, a roughly similar uh, go to market um, learn to say this phrase repeatedly so what what we're uh, what is pretty interesting to us at the moment uh, is uh, dev marketing. So market or devs obviously don't like to be marketed to. Um, and so you, you have to find creative strategies. And John talked about amazing creative strategies um, that, that, that I think we're going to try and copy and, and compete, for the, uh, compete for the same retargeting. Um, but some of the stuff that we do to, to market to developers uh, is changelog. Everyone in the world hates the product changing, except developers who love to read about every single intricate detail. Uh, we've got a lot of good feedback on that. Um, we've OSS, uh, or sorry, we've open sourced our, our front end. Um, so we, we took our front end and we just separated it out and uh, put in a new repo and our customers make changes and make pull requests and, and that's been uh, a nice, easy um, source of, of, of people talking about how great it is. And then also because it's, it's a, a really unique stack, it's, it's built on OM and React and ClojureScript, um, we, we've got a lot of traction out of people just talking about it, the, um, poking around at it and looking at it. Um, I think that a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people who market to developers have nice content strategies that in the past have revolved around uh, a, a unique uh, tech stack. Um, and if anyone has experience with that, I think we, we'd love to learn a bit more about how, uh, about how we can market the, these kind of unique tech stacks. Uh, and then the final thing in our, in our go-to-market you know, that, that, we're, that we're looking to talk to other people uh, at Heavy Bit about is what, what I term dev success. So developers selling to other developers. Um, how, to, how to build a successful sales team um, when developers hate talking to uh, you know, the, the, the guy with a bag and a quota. Um, and we're, 
uh, we've started by, by hiring a handful of developers to sell to developers and handle our inbound leads, and we're looking to expand that by getting a VP of sales to act more as a, as a coach um, to the developers um, rather than, than the sort of traditional role. Um, and we're very interested in talking to other people about what their, um, what their strategies are around that. Thank you.